last night. Bradbury with the daytime exclusive. Today on Exclusive, the original glam rockers Kiss talk about making elevator music. We find out why Keith Barron is playing a gun. Kiss tell us why they're turning their songs into do -do 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 elevator music. And John Kearns reviews Whoopi Goldberg and Jeff Goldblum's new movie, Jeff Goldblum. And Skunk and Auntie tell us why they don't wreck hotel rooms. How are you? In your word, you. Exclusive on Channel 5. Hi there, welcome back. In a moment, our movie critic John Kearns will be reviewing Jeff Goldblum's new tongue-in-cheek crime thriller, Trigger Happy, yep. and Whoopi Goldberg's new Fast the Associate. But first, those ghoulish lads, Kiss, have confirmed that, yes, a neutered version of their heavy rock is going to appear in lifts and dentist's waiting rooms around the globe. Kiss is going into Muzak. The boys were at the Rock Circus in London today, laying their hands in cement. But Exclusive got a close-up look at that tongue when we met up with them this afternoon. Crazy shoes, crazy guys. But after 30 years of being outrageous, they've revealed their music is going up in the world. Well, it lifts anyway. Music uh, had covered one, I think, of our songs. We call them up. There's no reason why you have to listen to horrible stuff while your teeth are being drilled. You may as well listen to our music. Kiss are lending their tunes to the music barons who strip away the riffs and lyrics to serenade us in elevators and supermarkets. But if you think they're not rock and roll anymore, Gene Simmons would like to remind you that he reckons he slept with 3,000 women. Everybody winds up doing the same thing ultimately, you know, when the lights go out. Everybody does the same thing. So there's, there's a fascination with sort of the perks, the fringe benefits that go along with the job. And, uh, you know, we don't do anything different than you do. We may just do more of it, use a little more whipped cream or... But these are boys with a heart. After 17 years apart, the original lineup of the 1970s are back together, and they're very sentimental about it. We have a little quiet moment in the back, and everybody puts their hands on top of each other. It's not just band and management. It's anybody who's around. We put our hands together, and we remind ourselves. There's no speech. It's something we say to each other. Hey, these people paid good money to come and see what they think is the greatest band on Earth. Let's go out there and rock their world. His co-founding father, Paul Stanley, reckons there's no rivalry for attention. But his tongue doesn't create the rumors that Jeans does. Or, oh, I tell you, the rumor the was does. is that uh, it was uh, ripped out of a cow's mouth <laughs> and somehow attached Frankenstein style, size, style, way into my mouth. <laughs> and uh, yeah. I, that's a, that beats it all. Yes. Cow's tongue. Yeah. <laughs> but then everything about Kiss is extreme. Their platforms put even the Spice Girls in the shade. On hearing Baby Spice had toppled over on hers, they wanted to give us some tips. The advice to Baby is you come see Dr. Love. We're at the Leonard. You call me up. I'll fix you. I'll fix your, I'll fix your little ankle. <laughs> Tongue. That's have a government health warning. It's huge. <laughs> and having it in dentist waiting rooms, there goes the need for anesthetic. Mm, Just play that really loud. <laughs> Kiss will be performing in London at Chaos in the Park on July the 5th. Now, it's competition time.